Hello my dear children, Namaste and welcome to yet another session, a very special session of our class 10 ICSE series. This is Ambika, Master Teacher of Biology at Vedantu. Now, uh, all of us understand that we are in the last few days of our study holidays, right? Uh, because your ICSE board exams will be starting a little earlier than the CBSE children, slightly earlier by a couple of days earlier than the CBSE children. So today we have come up with this very, very special session, which will give you an idea about how to revise, how to make the best use of the next 15 days. Now, it's not that your exams are starting on the 16th day from today. We have given you a buffer time of a little bit, okay? Buffer time of about three to four days so that you can certainly make time for everything that we discuss in today's session. Okay, children, so let's get started without wasting any time. But as always, let's start with a positive quote. This is what I have to tell you today. Study like there is no tomorrow because if you keep putting off your studies for tomorrow, you will probably be too late. That's absolutely true. This is why I put it here for you today because this is not something that you should be looking at on the eve of the exam. We don't want any last minute cramming. We don't want to go through the, you know, the physical, mental uh, and emotional pains of last minute cramming, right? So at least now understand that it's better late than never at all. Make use of the time. Make use of every minute that you have in front of you right now. Every present moment is important. Okay, so now um, let me also remind you at this point of our micro courses. All the micro courses that we have, we have 2000 plus topic wise micro courses. Um, everything available at flat rupee one. So we have a lot of amazing features out there, children. So do go check out our micro course section, the link of which was given in the description box below. So please do go, uh, go ahead and have a look at everything. Whatever topics you have, little bit of difficulty understanding. Now is your, uh, you are approaching your last few chances of getting them, getting those concepts cleared from your favorite teachers. We have some of India's best teachers teaching at Vedantu. So definitely do make use of it because it's also very very, very reasonably priced, right? I don't even have to mention that. And this is a very, very limited period offer. ICSE, we have um, courses on math and all your science subjects, physics, chemistry and bio. Okay. And now let me also tell you an outline of today's session, what you can expect of this session. Um, I am not going to be giving you a minute by minute timetable. Um, that's not my intention. Rather, just stay with me till the end, children, because this will not take very long and you will certainly find it useful. Uh, basically, I have broken down today's session into three major subtopics. The first is to get started. In the sense, those of you who do not know where to get started right now, those of you who have already been in full swing with a well-developed, a well-prepared timetable, do go ahead. You are definitely on the right track. But for those of you who do not know where to get started, you are still thinking about or waiting for that perfect moment uh, to get started with your revisions. That is why I have put a section called get started. Secondly, I would like to give you a few about four to five um, study techniques and tips which will help you which will be very useful for you in these few in these last few days before your board exams. And last, I would also like to give you certain expert tips and tricks, um, general ones, do's and don'ts um, a few days before the exam. Um, on the eve of the exam and also while your exam is happening. Okay, so let's get started. The first one, as I said, get started is my first step anyway. Yes, definitely you must know your exam pattern. By now, I'm sure 99.99% um, of you would know, would be familiar with your exam pattern because you have written, you have given all your pre-board examinations in the actual board exam pattern, right? So you must know the exam pattern. Generally, most exams, um, most of your main exams are going to be for a duration of two hours and you're going to be writing it for a maximum of 80 marks. Okay, especially for science and many other subjects, this is going to be the pattern um, and it would be divided into section one and section two. As you know, we have also discussed this in our uh, bio sessions and also in various other sessions. So anyway, children, for all of your subjects, make sure you know the duration of the test, the duration of the exam. Some of them will be for two and a half hours duration. Some will be for three hours, uh, many for two hours and so on. And make sure you know the pattern, pattern of the actual question paper. Okay, so that's the first step. Secondly, know the exam dates. 
okay so uh, this is very important although you may have a soft copy of your final official timetable published by um, your ICSC board um, this is not just enough because it will also include all the elective papers right so for yourself whatever your combination of subjects is make sure you have marked out in a planner or on a calendar in your room where you are likely to look at always so that you definitely do not miss out on the date and you know when something is going to happen okay so that's also important and now is the time as i said to identify your strengths and weaknesses okay because if at all there is any subject any topic or any chapter that you have been ignoring until now for whatever reason because you thought it's boring or because you thought it's too difficult now is the time to pick it up and start studying it because definitely if not now definitely you're not going to do it on the eve of the exam trust me definitely not because on the eve you will have to um, sit down and brush up every other subject ev sorry every other chapter that you have to cover for that particular exam right so now is the time to identify your strengths and weaknesses if you haven't done that yet and there is another advantage to identifying your strengths and weaknesses at this point of time it will also help you prepare a much more systematic timetable a much more systematic last 15 days timetable for yourself okay now that is coming to my next point make a very very realistic timetable what i mean is not copy pasted from what i have put here this is just a sample here just for you to give an idea about what your timetable um, can look like can possibly look like it can look like anything that you wish to but make sure you plan out everything to every single minute of your day make sure you have enough time to sleep make sure you have enough time to eat make sure you have enough time for relaxation everything is important because only then your brain is going to optimally function okay and in addition to that what do you keep in mind yes your strengths and weaknesses what subjects do you have to give a little more attention to and so on okay yes so here we go let me give you a few tips about how to make a realistic timetable this is why i said i don't want to impose a timetable on you i will just give you a few guidelines which will help you prepare your own customized timetable what are the do's and don'ts first one make time to practice at least two past years papers every day yes this is extremely important in the last few days before your board exams begin so make sure you have time to practice at least two papers every day it could be either something from reliable sources any sample paper from a reliable source or it could be any past years paper whatever it is just make sure you give yourself um, the experience of an actual exam hall make um, keep a timer for yourself not your mobile phone everything all your gadgets and everything out of the room where you are imagining to be an exam hall and everything else that you would take care of while you are actually in the exam hall okay so this is one tip and another tip that you need to keep in mind while practicing past years papers is at least one paper that you practice in the day should be exactly at the time when you will be appearing for your final board exam for example if your board exam is going to be from 9 a.m to 11 a.m make sure at least one practice paper is done at the same time of the day if it's going to be 11 a.m to 1 p.m make sure you practice it at that time of the day okay so this is again why i said you should be familiar with your exam dates and your examination time okay yes the next one learn theory subjects when your focus is at its peak okay so um, for some of you you may be the night owls some of you may be um, early morning uh, studying people that like the morning risers whatever kind of person you are whatever kind of student you are whenever you think your focus is at its best for example in my case i remember there was a time um, in my student's life when I, when my focus was at its best around 4 to 5 a.m. in the morning okay I would feel very very relaxed at that point of time and um, at least in my class 10 study holidays I think that was the time of the day when I picked up uh, theory subjects to work on but then later it changed a little bit by the time I came to 12th standard somehow the cycles had changed and my sharpest focus became the time in the evenings sometime after 4 p.m. 4 to 6 p.m. Or even after 10 p.m. in the night so there are no hard and fast rules in this children you know yourself best you are your best judge okay so whenever your focus is at its peak 
pick up theory subjects to study at that point of time okay now when you're feeling drowsy especially when you feel like taking an afternoon nap after a very heavy lunch and all that it's quite natural um, during such times of the day work on math or physics numericals or on any other subject that will keep you awake now again in my case um, i prefer to work on math problems um, towards evening like after 4 pm in the evening after my evening tea and snacks uh, but in the afternoons i used to love enjoying um, i used to really enjoy reading english comprehension in english um, short story books and whatever we had as part of the syllabus it was very very refreshing to read them either before bedtime or in the afternoon okay so completely up to you pick up according to your strengths and weaknesses and now yes as i told you earlier now is the time to pick up untouched topics but how do you work on that if there is one full chapter that you have been skipping until now it's not like you should be spending one full day allotting one full day to study that chapter no your revision schedule should still be the same keeping in mind you have time for all of these that i have been telling you practice papers working on math physics numericals every day all of these are important but at the same time make sure you fit in at least one hour or two hours in a day where you can study one part of the difficult chapter that you have been ignoring until now make sure you divide that hard chapter or untouched chapter or topic to study over two or three days depending on the length of it do not attempt to study it in one full day okay so there is a, a very important reason for that because every subject at this point of time has to be given equal importance at the same time you should also maintain a balance of um, giving doing justice to untouched topics also all right and now do not make the timetable keeping in mind the gaps you have in between exams very very important now i clearly remember children in my class 10 uh, board exams um, i was a cbsc student so we had five subjects for our board exams five major papers to attempt before our english exam we had like nine days of gap can you imagine because um that's obviously keeping in mind the electives that they would have given time for uh, which our school subjects that our school did not have probably children in other cbse schools in the country would have had exams during those gaps but in our case we had a gap of 9 days before english so what do we do we definitely did not need that much how much ever you sit and read communicative english is actually a paper which ultimately you should be able to write with your uh, with whatever you have understood and your basic grammatical skills and english language skills so definitely we did not need more than 2 to 3 days to revise for english exam so the rest of the days we utilized for preparing for science most of my friends and myself we did it like that but that's what children i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say here is that do not think about that at this point of time if you have a little bit of extra gap before your exams well and good consider it as a bonus but now these 15 days that we are aiming at fully utilizing should aim at completing everything you possibly can as if tomorrow is going to be your final exam okay yes now one more additional tip start every single day by looking at the to do list for that day for example what i'm saying is if you have a 15 day timetable set right now every day you should be starting starting your day early in the morning whenever you are about to sit down for your first study session make sure you review your to do list for that day okay so get started first and then at the end of the day before you go to bed again spend about 5 to 10 extra minutes by reviewing the to do list that you looked at the same morning so now what you have to do is you have to keep checking off items on the list so that will actually give you a sense of achievement the only rule to keep in mind while you create a daily timetable is it should be realistic it should be attainable okay so certainly you will be able to um, get a lot of positivity at the end of the day before you go to bed and now coming to the second part of the session that i was telling you study techniques um there are a lot of study techniques that i have been uh, giving you like sharing with you study tips tricks study techniques even the pomodoro technique which i really love and i love sharing with all my students uh, if you have been following me on students corner you would certainly have um seen my watched my videos on smart study techniques and a lot of other things that i've been doing so today i'm going to be not repeating those but rather i would like to give you three or four which will come in handy and work 
practically for you in these last 15 days of revision. The first one is make charts. Um, for example, important formulae, chemical equations. Okay, this is just there as a sample. Uh, not that it's actually part of your syllabus, um, but just as an example of what you can possibly make. Probably for mathematics, for physics, there are a lot of uh, formulae that you have to remember. There would be a lot of um, identities that you have to remember, theorems that you have to remember, laws that you have to remember. So all of these, just make charts of them, paste it around somewhere in your study area so that you will certainly look at it at least a few times in a day, knowingly or unknowingly. Okay, and of course, chemical equations also, if there are things that you must certainly remember. Okay, so that comes in as a very handy revision tool. Secondly, create flowcharts and mind maps as much as possible. Now, children, I have already done a video on effective note making because many of you had asked for it. But now I would say this is not the time to sit and make descriptive notes. Now, if at all you want to make notes, the best technique would be to go by the flowchart and um, mind map method so that even on the eve of the exam it will come in as a handy tool and now talking about combined study there this is uh, possibly one uh, source of confusion for many students is it advisable to go for combined study or do I just uh, just stay away from groups and do self-study sessions only well there is no hard and fast rule in this either it's completely up to you you know yourself best you know your friends best if you have the kind of friends who will certainly help and ease your stress ease your tension in the sense that you will be able to make a very 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 productive study session because i had a couple of friends like that um, in my class 10 so nothing better than that if you have the ideal study partner, honestly speaking, there is nothing better than that. But then, yeah, here I've just put something very funny, uh, a cartoon about study sessions, about group study sessions um, that I found interesting from cartoon stock. Anyway, uh, like I said, it's completely up to you. If you think you need help from good friends, go ahead for it. If not, prefer to. Uh, you know prefer not to take a chance with that and just go ahead with your self-study sessions and now teach nothing better than teaching when it comes to recalling concepts because it's been scientifically proven i think again this is one of the smart study techniques i keep telling my students every time whatever subject it may be whatever topic it may be there is nothing better there is nothing that you can recall better than when you Teach it either to your own reflection or to someone else. It can be your own reflection like you see here or it can be someone else, either a trusted friend or your sibling or your parents, anybody. Okay. Yes. And now coming to the last part, the third part, which is a set of um, important expert tips that will come in handy for you in these last few days. Yes. Eat, exercise and sleep well, not just on the eve of the exam, even now, every single day eat a well-balanced diet exercise i'm not saying go to the gym or go for a, a one-hour jog or a walk or anything like that even a 15 20 minute exercise every day just get your muscles moving just stretch out and ease the tension that's like locked up in many areas of your body just because you are sitting and studying for long hours okay so make sure that flexibility is there because that is also important posture is also important when it comes to staying calm while your exam is happening okay and sleeping well at least seven to eight hours of sleep for your age is very very important uh, during study holidays and on the eve of the exam definitely no other option you must sleep well and yes always keep smiling it's just another exam nothing to get stressed about at all all of us have been through it you will also be through it definitely yes definitely find your own stress busters it can be anything it can be music it can be um, baking it can be any other hobby a musical instrument um, or it can be just singing out um, to yourself when there is nobody around whatever it is gardening or just going out getting some sunshine anything and everything that relaxes your mind okay but definitely not social media okay <laughs> yes all of these can be considered as stress busters um, quick stress busters of five to ten minutes would be very very uh, productive and efficient for you during your study breaks yes now what do you do on the eve of the exam certainly you must keep calm and be wise what do i mean by be wise keep calm yes everybody tells you this be wise is um one tip i can give you is this to be wise do not pick up any new topic 
on the eve of the exam if, that's why i'm saying if there is anything you want to learn for your exam any untouched topic now is the time for it not the eve of the exam okay and the night before your exam yes you should be this ideally and not this okay you should be sleeping well and you shouldn't be sitting up as a night owl and during the exam what do you do definitely everything that all your teachers say you must uh, make use of the reading time the 15 minutes time which um, are given to you before the question uh, before the actual exam writing begins uh, so at this point of time what do you do you also need to pick up the optional questions you need to identify which are the questions that you would be attempting from the optional sections okay yes so decide in this reading time you must be deciding the order to attempt the paper and what i was saying decide what questions to pick up in the optional sections for example in science section b section a is fully compulsory section b you have to pick four out of six questions read through every six all of those sub questions of the six questions in section b just see for yourself what is it that will fetch you maximum marks and decide which one to attempt accordingly okay be smart in such decisions keep track of time do not go to an exam hall without wearing a watch okay now this is a point that i used to be very very obsessed about when i was a child because um, i've had a bad experience once in the sense um, suddenly when i was writing an exam and i looked at glanced at my watch in between it was still like showing as if it was a few minutes it was only a few minutes after the exam started but in fact the battery had gone out battery of my watch so from that day onwards i made it a point to carry even an extra watch uh, every time i went for an exam and then keep your calm completely take a deep breath it's all going to be fine with a calm mind you should be reading your question paper otherwise you're going to mess it up no point whatever you know whatever you have studied nothing else is going to uh, help at all only having a calm state of mind will help and yes make sure you read the question well and completely before you answer it okay absolutely write neatly and legibly i think uh, abhishek sir has already done a session on paper presentation um, not specifically for icse but in general if you just check the playlist on the channel vedantu 9 and 10 there is a session on paper presentation so do have a look uh, but again children uh, there is um, one important thing that you can always remember and be thankful for being an icse student um, your exams usually have usually do not expect paragraph answers because even your five mark questions are broken down into um five sub questions of one mark each okay so that's very very useful right you know what exactly to write the only thing you must keep in mind at that point of time is writing the question number absolutely correctly if there is question number 3 and there are sub questions a b c d e and with the neat sub question if you had to uh, like mention sub points you must do it neatly legibly and correctly yes and write crisp answers keywords are very very important especially when it's a descriptive answers keywords play a very very important role okay yes that's about it children all our expert tips are done and here is a complete biology playlist the complete list of biology videos that we have for icc class 10 we have covered every single chapter that's there in your syllabus and here um, is also the playlist of our diagram series Uh, so do have a look at that also we've done five sessions um exclusively for diagram based questions and yes this is the playlist for all the subjects fast track series that's still going on it will be going on till the end of this month so do stay in touch on that also and yes students corner as i said um you will be able to relate to whatever i told you today also like smart study techniques how to get rid of exam anxiety exam stress and a lot lot more there are many videos that you will find out there please do go ahead and have a look at students corner wherein i have done a lot of videos yes and children do keep in mind never mind what others do beat your own record from day to day and you are a success you should be your own competitor and nobody else okay 
and yes absolutely keep calm and good luck for your exams do remember to hit the like button children if you have enjoyed the session please do share it with all your icse friends because certainly they would benefit from this and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do hit the subscribe button now and the bell icon right near it so that till the end of your exam season you will have access to a lot of uh, amazing sessions out here on this channel vedantu 9 and 10 in the meantime you can also get in touch with me on email um, dot gopalakrishnan at vedantu.com or stay in touch with me through telegram and until we meet again this is ambika signing off bye bye